river of Arayoki is a lifeline for the city of Turku. Founded on the banks of the river about 800 years ago, Turku is Finland's oldest city. It became an important trading center and was also the country's political center for centuries. The cathedral and the city's landmark castle date from those days. The castle was initially built for defense, but later became a stately residence. Today, Bengt Selin guides visitors through its grounds. The Turku castle was always quite a rich and modern place. So when new inventions, new ideas came to Turku, they always came here to Turku castle first. And from here, they spread to other parts of Finland. So for example, the fork was one of the things that came first to Turku castle and, and then later spread from here to other parts of Finland. Fire destroyed much of the castle in the 17th century. It has not been inhabited since then. The city has been devastated by fire several times, most recently in 1827. That's when the former capital lost its importance, something which the city of 200,000 never really recovered from. Many in Turku are now hoping this year as capital of culture will boost the city's fortunes. The opening ceremony attracted some 50,000 visitors. Turku in Flames has been the theme. Much of the program of Turku's capital of culture this year has to do with the fires. The Infernal Musical will celebrate its premiere in a few days' time. The world's first ever heavy metal musical tells the story of the Great Fire of 1827. This is a disastrous uh, situation with the Great Fire Bill that unites people that I hoped in the same way sort of the cultural year would unite people from Finland and from different countries also. Finland's legendary passion for saunas is the focus of this project. Artist Jan Erik Andersen has designed a sauna that aims to inspire imagination. It's still in the artist's garden, but it will be moved to the city center on completion in spring. Finland is often known for its off-the-wall ideas, and many are being brought to life here. Why shouldn't I use a, a, a nice, beautiful shape taken from, from nature and, and onion, pumpkin, <laughs> a combination perhaps of this? Mm. It also like tastes and uh, sounds good. <laughs> and also, why shouldn't architecture also be a little bit funny. Design is also taking center stage. A map shows where to buy products from young Finnish designers who studied at the local College of Design. Fifteen small companies are showcasing their wares as part of Turku 2011. Ton Fisk is one of them. Boss Brian Keeney from Ireland has lived in Turku for 15 years. He says the city has a unique concentration of young creatives who inspire each other. Yeah, we're a small company, if we want to be competitive and get noticed internationally, we have to have something special in our products. So for example, our warm series here, the teapot of the warm series, this uh, combines wood and ceramic. And the idea is here that you take the teapot by the wood here and then you can hold it while it's hot. Those who don't want tea as a winter warmer can take a visit to this former school. It's been converted into a restaurant with its own microbrewery. The old classrooms are a popular meeting point among locals. And in keeping with the theme of fire, the restaurant has come up with a new beer for 2011, a dark, smoky brew called Sparks. 